What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. If you have clicked on this video, you may have guessed that the trip that I have been alluding to for the past couple weeks is France. <laughs> so we are going, we're flying into New York from Columbus. We'll be there for a day and then we're flying from New York to Paris. We'll be there for like a day and a half and then we are taking a train from Paris down to Toulouse and we're gonna spend a couple days with my aunt and uncle and cousin and then we'll be taking a train from Toulouse to Nice and staying there for about a week and doing a bunch of different little day trips around the south of France and I am so excited. I have been wanting to do this trip honestly for a couple years now since my aunt and uncle moved to the south of France. I just knew I wanted to go and visit them and experience all that the south of France has to offer because I've seen that it is so beautiful. I definitely feel like I am the type of person that I the begin like June July summer is different to me than like August early September summer like the beginning of summer I want like fun picnics Florida beaches very like bright colors kind of summer and then when I get into August I want like sleek sophisticated black and white olive green neutrals uh like jute bags that kind of like just more of a sophisticated summer and so i feel like this is the perfect time to do a little south of france beach south of france beach trip a little jumbled and so when i'm prepping for trips like this there's lots of different things that i feel like go into the prep but the first thing that I always do is I make a little mood board on my Pinterest. I like to put different like outfit ideas that I think I'm gonna use, different like photo ideas, different inspirations, different ideas of like touristy places or places I wanna check out, all of that into like one big mood board. And then I start actually like picking out the outfits that I want to take with me so that I can know what else I might need to get before it is time to leave. And so that's what we're going to be doing first in this video. I got I bought a garment rack and I've pulled a couple pieces. So we're going to see what I feel like works and what doesn't. But that is the perfect transition into today's sponsor for this video. So Ana Luisa Jewelry is who is sponsoring this video this week and they have the perfect jewelry to elevate your everyday jewelry. So their jewelry is all long lasting, it's tarnish resistant, it makes it perfect for everyday wear. I feel like I can sweat in it and not worry about it, maybe wear it in the ocean, well I guess it's the sea when you're in the south of France, but wear it and not have to worry about it changing color super much. So all of their products are backed by a two year warranty and tested extensively against tarnishing, allergies, damage, breaking, but if you're not totally satisfied with your products, they'll send you a replacement or reimburse you for your products, no questions asked. So it's really risk-free, which is really nice. Um, all of their products are super affordable. They start at just $39, which makes them amazing for such high quality pieces, which I love. Um, and if that is not enough, Ana Luisa is also crafted with the planet in mind. Their brand is carbon neutral and climate neutral certified, offsetting 100% of their carbon footprint, which is really cool. And what's even better, is they gave me a little code to share with you guys so you can try out their jewelry as well. The code is gonna be Harish20 and it will get you 20% off your first order. So first let's look at what they gave me. So I got this first little necklace which is just so beautiful, very timeless. It is the Ina necklace and then I have it paired with this like paper clip necklace, also really beautiful. A, the perfect little stack. The paper necklace is the Laura Bold. 
so we love them and then they gave me this beautiful little ring which is the rope slim ring this ring is very similar to another ring that i wear almost every time that i want just like a casual ring to wear but that one was like $12 off Amazon. It has already started changing colors and so I'm very excited to have this one which isn't going to change colors. It's really beautiful. Don't have to worry about it reacting to my skin weird. And then I also got these little hoops. The second in my earring stack. They're these cute little twisty hoops. They're the Paris Mini and they look very similar to my ring. So I'm very excited to take all of these beautiful pieces with me and you should order some as well so you can try them out. But now that I have some of my accessories, let's figure out what outfits I want to wear with them. This is gonna be one of my first, I think I could honestly wear it as a day or a night outfit. I think I can just wear it with these cute little tennis shoes and it would be a good like trotting around the city kind of look. I just got this dress at the vintage market last week, but I think it's really cute. It'll be just like light, airy, comfy, cute, or I could put some sandals on with it and it would be a little bit more like dressed up for like a nighttime outfit. I also feel like it's the right color that I could like drape this sweater over and have it be that's a little bit warmer on my sleeves if it gets to be a little bit chillier and then I also could just put the sweater on. I love these shoes. I think they're so cute but when I wore them in St. Pete they were not the most comfy to walk around in and I just feel like in Europe you're walking everywhere, you're walking a lot and so I can't really waste space on shoes that are not going to be super comfy to like walk around in a lot. Alright, if I keep doing this for each outfit it's going to take forever so let's pick up the pace. Is it giving frumpy? Something about it's just so not jiving. I like your one. Okay, this dress I bought specifically for this trip. I was not planning on buying it, but I walked in to J. Crew and saw it and I knew with the way that the skirt was laying that it just was going to be so cute. Tried it on. It like fit me like a glove. I never felt cuter. So we are definitely taking this little look with us whether or not it's a nighttime look, a daytime look. I feel like I even could put it with some white tennis shoes and it would be cute, but definitely coming. Okay, it is cleaning day. As you know, I believe nothing is better than when you come home from a trip and your house is just spotless, squeaky clean. So I like to do a little clean before we go on trips. So today I'm going to be cleaning as much of my house as possible especially because I have a nail appointment on Friday and I don't like to do cleaning after I've gotten my nails done nice and fresh. And so we're doing cleaning today and then as the avid multitasker that I am, we're doing a little self-care at the same time. So I slicked my hair back, put in a little hair mask. So I started with this product that I got off of Amazon. It's a rosemary oil good for stimulating hair growth, scalp health, helps with a little bit of end breakage. And then I'm also using my Monate hair transformation mask. So this mask I just put like in the ends of my hair. 
it's the type of thing that they kind of want you to use it in the shower generally you clean your hair put the hair mask on leave it for five minutes but i like to just like put it in the ends of my hair and i really feel like it just gives moisture and helps heal any split ends that might be going on prevents breakage so i like to use that and then i have the summer fridays jet lag mask i've been dealing with some skin issues as you know and i've just been feeling after my facial my face was just feeling really really dry it felt like my skin barrier didn't heal super well after the facial and so i am using my little hydration mask to kind of help with some of that i'll wear it all day and then after i do some cleaning i'll shower it all off so first I think we need to get the sheets off the bed and get them in the washer. and let this video serve as a mental reminder that I need to get actual pictures in these frames. Found a cave, oh. but we're gonna need that back. This is next to mine. Now Elliot's watching baseball. <laughs> got a quick food break. Kevin went and got some Chipotle. We've got a barbacoa quesadilla, and then I get salsa and corn salsa and sour cream on the side. It is the best thing that you can get at Chipotle, in my opinion. I've done so much that I haven't gotten on camera too. I went downstairs and cleaned the whole laundry room because it was a mess. The floor was gross, but it's just like not pretty down there right now. So I uh, didn't take the camera down and try and find a way to set it up. I cleaned my makeup brushes because as we know I'm dealing with the acne and I was worried that maybe there had been bacteria in the makeup brushes that was causing me to break out. I don't know. I'm trying all the stops. But the kitchen is now clean. We're mostly done with upstairs. I need to clean the upstairs bathroom but I have the bath rugs in the wash and the towels in the wash right now so we just need to do that real quick i've been doing some reorganizing as i've been doing this so we got 
some new organization upstairs, but the whole kitchen is clean. I'm like two thirds of the way done, but dinner break and then we're gonna keep going. Okay, I am running to a nail appointment, but I just had to show you, this is what we're working with. We're getting rid of the outgrown and I loved my toes so much that I showed you guys a couple weeks back that I just decided that that's what I wanna do this time. It's just, they're so cute. They're like an elevated neutral. I will report back. So I went with the Samoan sand with the gold chrome over top. I just think they're so chic. They're gonna look beautiful, sparkling under the Mediterranean sun. I've said it once and I'll say it again. If you're in Columbus and you need somewhere to go get your nails done, go to Blush Nail Lounge. And uh, I have seen Angel, Linda, and Natalie before. Love them all, they all do great, so. Go check them out. So I spent the afternoon uh, getting some work done. I was watching all of the South of France vlogs, getting very excited for our trip. I redid my iPhone home screen to fit my vibe for right now, just kind of more of a neutral summery vibe. And now we are headed to the mall. Um, I last night put together a little Pinterest board of outfit inspiration for Kevin to go off of when he was putting together his outfits and we realized that there are a couple items that he would still like to have for the trip so we're going to go look for that. Here's the lighting in here. We, our bedroom is in an attic and it is 10 o'clock at night. So we're doing with what we got. But these are some of the things. I only got like a sweater and a little coin pouch. But Kevin, he found the things we were looking for. Also, we were inspired by Clay Hendricks watching their South of France vlog. So if Clay, if you happen to be watching this, shout out to you. But Kevin wanted some like cool sandals, so we got them also. That's not casual. <laughs> for this. So start like standing on one, like one, yeah, and then switch your legs. Yep. One foot, all your weight is back here. Yep switch all of your weight to the other foot. Rather than, so you're going side to side, go front and back. Stands like this. I do, all the time. Sorry about that. That, perfection. Do it on the other foot. But then you just do the same thing over here. No! <laughs> come up with something else for you. Maybe like push up your sleeve. Yeah. Cool. Good work. It is Sunday, which means it is crunch time because we leave tomorrow and I am so excited. I did kind of a last minute Amazon order and a bunch of things finally came for our trip. So I'm going to give you a little haul of the things that we got. So first are these like beach, they're linen Turkish towels. So they're like super, super lightweight. They're this like really pretty, just like tan color. Thought it was got this white stripe. Thought they'd be really beautiful. A really good like Mediterranean vibe. And the best part is that because they are so thin, I can kind of roll them up to be like, 
it's literally like the size of a water bottle rolled up so it'll be perfect to just like put in a bag if we want to do a little beach day or if we want to be able to have our towels after we're exploring some of the villages in the south of france this i did a lot of research on mostly on tiktok of what the best travel pillow was and the results if i didn't want to spend 150 dollars we're definitely for the turtle for the turtle travel pillow so they kind of look silly I'm not gonna lie so it kind of looks like this and it looks like you're wearing a neck brace but you just kind of wedge it where you want it wrap it around stick it but then your head can just like legitimately lean without bobbing all over the place and you just have like a way to like wedge your head which is going to be essential if we're going to be on a flight at 12:30 a.m getting into paris at two o'clock paris time we want to be able to sleep on the plane so we got these i will report back whether or not they worked this is something that I don't know how I didn't travel with before. I think it's genius. So they are these little foot slings. You basically, they have this long strap that like hooks onto the tray table and then you can like adjust it and then your feet can sit in these foot slings. As a short human, I always have the hardest time getting comfortable sitting in a seat and not having like an easy place where my feet can rest. And so this is going to be the answer to all of our problems, I think. I ordered an adapter, which is essential. It's got three different plugs and then two USB-C and a regular USB, which is really nice. And then I got us some of the little loop earplugs with the muting inserts in there. I got me the pink ones and I got Kevin some orange ones. And the last like travel-y thing that I got was another thing that I found on TikTok. It's this like travel pillow. I'm not sure about this one, I'm not gonna lie. So it gets bunched up, it's super small, so it can fit nice and compact. But then, basically it seems like you blow it up here. I'm interested to see how long it'll take me to blow it up, so I want a time. On your mark, is it, go. minute and I think it was because it's got one of the big holes and then when I let it go half the air popped out so I had to use the small hole but it is this little contraption and it goes together so you can put your arms in here and you can like sleep you can rest it on your lap and put your face in it I think it could be really nice I feel like you can you could probably use it multiple different ways like this way and lay on it this way We'll see how it goes. Again, I will report back. And all of these products will be linked in the description below on my Amazon storefront. I ordered a black braided bag off of Amazon, but our Amazon stuff keeps getting delayed and I don't know what is going on. It was the type of thing that was like supposed to be overnight and now it's been four days. We'll see if it shows up. It says now expected today, but we'll see if it actually happens. And this is the luggage that I'm taking. So I'm taking a full size and a carry-on of the Monos brand. 
And then this is a cool little travel backpack that we just got. It's Cal Pack. And it's got 50 million pockets. But the coolest part that I thought about it was the inside pocket. So you can unzip it and it opens like a suitcase. And so I think it'll be really easy to stuff more things in here. There's additional pockets and stuff. It's definitely the type of thing that if you were really crunched for space, you probably could pack in this and in a carry-on and it would be enough. But we're going for so long and doing so many different things that we thought it was safer just to go ahead and bring both a checked piece and a carry-on in addition to a little travel backpack so that if we buy a bunch of things, we'll have room to bring them back. <laughs> but now we need it back. I'll be able to put my toiletries, shoes, accessories, swimsuits, everything like that over here. It is 8 p.m. and I've pretty much gotten everything all packed up. I've got a couple things that I'll need to handle in the morning, but it seems like we're about all ready to go. So I guess the next time I see you, we will have been to France, which is very exciting. Thank you so much for getting to this part in the video and watching all of the prep for this trip that I am so excited for. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my page and turn on post notifications. Um, don't forget to check out the link to the Ana Luisa jewelry and don't forget to use the code Harish20 for 20% off your order. See you in France!